Hey, what she look like, bro? Shorty press, shorty press, shorty fine, shorty fine. Yeah, face card valid, she gon' slay it every time. Independent, independent, on the grind, on the grind. Yeah, all about the money, so she never got time. Hey, Capricorns, I hope I was well with you guys, and I hope y'all having a beautiful day so far. So y'all. <laughs> Y'all not like switch it up a lot, so bear with me, okay? But Capricorn, so I want to tell you like this. If you have any type of self-doubt, if you are questioning yourself, if you are being too hard on yourself at this moment, Spirit wants you to know that, hey, look, take it easy on yourself, okay? And just take it easy in any situation, especially when it comes to overthinking and when it just comes to overanalyzing something, okay? Because I feel like something might be old going coming up, or you could have just went through something recently, or you might be just in your head a lot. Because I feel like it's a lot of inner drama in the mental, okay? And it might be due to something that could have been toxic, okay? So let's see, okay? It says, shh, you're talking too much, moves in silence. If you can't change the situation, change the way you obsess over it, ask others for help sometimes. You are beating yourself up, beating yourself up over something that out of your control and if you can't control it what are you waiting for you are holding a grudge and better things are co uh, are coming but are you open for it? and are you on it up to your own doing actions too so i feel like the longer you are looking at something negative spirit might be making you sit in it until you see like hey okay so me looking at it negative ain't gonna work so maybe I should look at it a different way. And I feel like it's spirit wanting you to go after something a different way or look at something a different way so it can unlock this this next chapter of yours. Okay, because, you know, some levels to I me, mean, some keys to the next doors are you that forgiving heart. You get what I'm saying? That forgiveness of forgiving yourself because I feel like it'd be like a weight limit. And when I say weight limit, I'm not talking about actually weight. I'm talking about like the weight of you. Like, have you released some stuff? Like, have you, are you still holding on to things? Because the more you hold on to things, the more heavy you are. You get what I'm saying? So, it's basically that. Like, being careful, like, of holding on too much because forgiveness is not just for other people. It's for us. You get what I'm saying? As a whole, in the human nature. You get what I'm saying? Because when you forgive something that might, you could have been holding on for a long time, it make you, like, more lighter. You get what I'm saying? you more lighthearted. You're not, you're not closed off and all that because I feel like you being closed off can make you miss out in on more opportunities versus when you open, you can, you, you, you attracting that. You get what I'm saying? It's just like, when you forgive, right, and you start living your life, you know what I'm saying? You, you start, just looking at things different when you start opening up slowly but surely. Which is some of y'all might be, might be the one that. But it's just like something you might be getting tested. So it's like when you go through a test. Like you know how you you got these unknown tests that like to come up right. And it's just like spirit like I'm room for you. And I have to put you through this. Because uh, uh, what, if, what the things that you asked me for I'm trying to prepare you for them. Okay, because if you do not, if I don't prefer you, then you're going to fumble it. You get what I'm saying? Because you asking, you might be asking for something that you might feel like ain't a big deal where you shouldn't get tested. And spirit, like, I'm testing you because, like, a lot of the things that we be asking for, right, and a lot, and a lot of this stuff that's coming in the next chapter is things that are going to last a long time, especially when you don't beat certain karmic cycles, when you don't beat certain levels. You get what I'm saying? Some of y'all might be on level five or up. You get what I'm saying? And, um, yeah, so it's just like, spirit just like, focus on the energy that you put now. Make sure you are forgiving so you can make yourself more lighter for whatever you asking for. Because I feel like a lot of y'all got manifestations coming in or something is prospering for you. Okay? And it's like, if you continue holding that hatred in your heart, that resentment in your heart, whatever this anger is, right, or this burial, you're not going to be able to fully enjoy the things that you ask for, okay? Yeah, let me see. Yeah, I feel like you might be having a hard time opening up. And it might be because some type of past situation is well too, okay? Somebody also feel like they fumbled you. I feel like it's some fumbling going on. And it's, it's also might be you feeling like you fumbling something, Okay? Whatever this is, this grudge you are holding, it might be of something that can be very old, okay? I feel like some skeletons might be coming out the closet or some stuff coming from under the rug and it's meant to do that, 
okay so you can help you relax and chill okay because a lot of y'all might be um thinking a low vibrational about something okay because whatever could have hurted you I feel like this could have caused you to keep people out in the cold or, you know, just don't want to get close to people or it's something like this, okay? Yeah. Chasing money right now. I don't need love. Make sure you're not close. Make sure, make sure you are not, you know, closing your heart off, okay? Stay connected to spirit, y'all. And I, I, like, I know you're grown. You're going to do what you want to do, but... Whatever this is, you don't want to let this, you don't want this to push you down the rabbit hole, okay? You don't want it to push you down the wrong thing due to you chasing money. And I'm, I'm hearing like you attract, let, learn how to let things flow to you instead of you, you know what I'm saying? Say I'm chasing money. Like don't chase anything, okay? Nothing. Only thing you might need to chase is, you know what I'm saying? A little juice after a little, a little squeeze or look, or you know what I'm saying? You taking a shot or something. Because I feel like a lot of y'all will be doing it once you pass whatever test this is. That could be coming up, could be bothering you. A lot of y'all might need to um, might need to vent. And this is another thing when they say uh, ask others for help sometimes. It's like people care about you, Capricorn. You know what I'm saying? Everybody ain't going to leave you out in the cold. Everybody not going to be like those past people. Spirit just like, use your discernment now. Like, you it's, you don't got to act like the back, my back against the wall. I can trust nobody. Yeah. And even if you can't in hermit form, you got your angels. You can go talk to God. You can go sit talk to him. Spirit, your spirit team. You know what I'm saying? You're not alone. Okay, and even if it, it, these tests make you feel like you alone, because some of y'all are going through a test, and Spirit's saying, like, I got you, okay, I got you, and and, and getting numberized and getting used to being tested, okay, because I feel like you are naturally transforming, and you're going to go through a lot of tests, because I feel like a lot of y'all got a lot of big things coming towards y'all, I feel like a lot of y'all, and Spirit trying to shed light on it shine light on it as well like everything that you go through is not going to be a bad transformation okay it might feel bad because it's like we ain't getting away we want to or we ain't moving away like god ain't moving away he wants us to due to our own ego and all that because your ego you might you might think you ready because your ego in a way and god said you i feel like you need a little more work you get what i'm saying so my judgment is better than your judgment because i'm looking at it all ways and I know what I got for you. You might don't know what I got for you. Because you might be asking me for something that's small. But I might be giving you something big. You get what I'm saying? So, let's see. So, it's just all about, like, patience. And I know, like, y'all getting tired of hearing patience. But, yeah, because some of y'all might be um needing some more healing going on. Okay? Something up there about releasing something. And I feel like it's something that could have been holding you back for a long time. And I feel like it stopped you from opening up. I feel like also you might have a problem with being vulnerable. You get what I'm saying? I feel like this can make you very wishy-washy and being vulnerable, okay? Because more vulnerable. Like, one thing I tell you, like, look, one thing the enemy can do to, st to steal our innocence and stuff like that is, like, making us hold this grudge because you miss out on a lot of opportunities when you are walking around with a chip on your shoulder, when you're walking around angry and holding those grudges and being very aggressive, thinking everybody against you, and now that you lose opportunities on your own, okay? And the enemy make it possible by making you feel like you're damaged or, oh, people did me dirty. They only did me dirty. No, people do people dirty all the time. And what Spirit did was use people unhealed, unhealed self and version themselves to hurt you and whatever. But I'm telling you, like, it's only to help you. And I know you're like, damn, why we had to go to hurt to help us? Because it molds you. Because if we going through good things all the time, how are we learning? How are we learning? And I know, like, I'm not trying to make no excuse for your pain, but I want you to look at it in a different way. This stuff had to happen to mold you in the, the, in the prepare you for the position that God is about to place you in, okay? Look, because I feel like spirit is coming for you, baby. Okay? You also clear somebody that's spying on you and watching, uh, watching you as well, too. I feel like there's somebody who want to come towards you. But spirit might be blocking this person or he might be boosting your discernment at this moment and re reminding you of things that this person did to you or, you know, betrayal they did so you can know when this person comes towards you that, hey, it, it ain't none change. Ain't none change, book. Ain't none change but a phone number and an address, baby. But ain't none change when it comes to this person. This person still the same, sis, and bro mine. You know what I'm saying? They still the same. They still moving different. They still shine. Uh, still want the, the ice cream cake, pudding, um, and everything and everything else. Cupcakes. They want everything. You get what I'm saying? I feel like there's somebody who feel like they deserve everything, but don't put the work in for everything. You get what I'm saying? If somebody's very materialistic, 
I feel like somebody who out for self, give me like this selfish energy, possess possessive energy, and it's not for a good reason. Okay, like I said, I'm a I'm materialistic because of people trying to shit on me, and now I do the same. And also, spirit said, make sure you are not getting that energy. Don't look at something and use it as dog versus good. Okay, so yeah, I got these fortune cookies. Okay. I got it from Dollar Tree or whatever. I thought it was gonna be fun. I, and it got the it actually got the mess, messages in there. Okay, so let's see. So once it come out, y'all we're gonna use it. And I don't know if you can go back in. Okay, it said believe in yourself. Okay. So I feel like this is a great, a great, a great thing for you. You know, like when you go to the Chinese shop, uh, get this uh chicken for rice. You you know that you're having a little porch because I be eating too, y'all. I just started. But um well a couple of years ago. And I feel like you always always have like a little message in there to make you feel special or whatever. And I feel like you're saying like believe in yourself. I always believe in yourself. Even when you even like when you want to give up, I always remember to believe in yourself. Okay? Period. So I don't know if they're gonna go back in there or not. But I'm gonna keep this out. I'm gonna keep this, okay? Yeah. Spirit saying believe in yourself. Okay, and know that. You got this, okay? And if you, if something making you, if you get angry about something or something feel like it's getting hard or you just, like, want to give up, remember why you started, okay? And remember that vision that, that well, you know, what makes us start anyway because sometimes we can lack motivation. But seriously, saying, let the thing, let the, let the, the vision fuel your fire, okay? So some of y'all might be um trying to find a new fire as well or trying to light, the, light a fire, uh, find a flame to your you know what I'm saying? Like trying to to your passion, like whatever it is, like like trying to find this spark again in your life. Okay, it's somebody who is looking at you, and I feel like they miss you as well too. And I feel like they hurting because of whatever energy that you could be giving towards them, or you just pulling yourself back. And I feel like if you are talking to someone, I feel like somebody could be feeling like you're pushing them away. Just you going through whatever challenges you are going through, but it's like seriously saying, don't focus on that. You might have to communicate that with someone, especially if you care about them. But I feel like it's like you focusing on you at this moment. Okay, I feel like this is a you versus you type of season. And some coming up for it can help you out and push you more closer in a connection as well too. Okay, but be careful of, you know, um, low vibrational thinking because they can also put you, you know, in um, on down, going down the wrong path. Because I feel like you got somebody also that can be connected to you. There's somebody who you might don't want or don't care for, you know, since somebody you might broke up with. No matter who you might be tired of, they ish, they might want to come towards you. Look and say, I want you, but I can't commit. Okay, there's somebody who might be stealing their own, the Lulu bubble. I told you, somebody still want their cake, the ice cream, and the uh, cupcakes, and everything else. Okay, so I feel like a lot of y'all could be staying focused. And some of y'all might be still thinking about a past person, and this is might be trying to close your heart. And I feel like you might be open, you might get something new coming in, or you might be already started something. Some of y'all might be dating. You get what I'm saying? And I feel like you got somebody in your energy that might really like you, Capricorn. But it's like you might can't show up for them like you want to due to you going through some type of challenge or some type of inner term or or inner test. You get what I'm saying? Because I feel like something is uh, is testing you inward, okay? I feel like um, y'all could be mad about somebody um, doing something dirty to you or just moving weird with you. You know, like when people miss... One thing I don't understand, and I, and, it's, and it's more common than anything because a lot of us go through it. I feel like I don't understand, like when somebody fumbles us, why do we question ourselves? And I understand why we do, but I'm also like dying. Like we sit in that blood, in our own blood for a long time, and it messes us up mentally. And then a lot of us, like when we, like when we, uh, when we do finally get our head on right, we allow that person to come back towards us when we know that that person is the cause of the damage from the get-go, okay? One thing you don't do, and I'm just, it's just for advice, and it's not going to be for everybody, but if it is for you, it's for you, you know what I'm saying? I know we're going to do our own thing because we do got free will. One thing you don't want to do is go to anything that broke you once, okay? If it broke you once, then you let you, let me tell you something, you have to remember, because even if you don't give nobody a chance again, it's just like the thought of them, like, to even, like, making you miss out on your happiness, and sometimes we have to go through that, though. Sometimes we have to go through that, like, like them ruining your happiness a little bit as you've been in your head, when you really question yourself, and you having an inner term or the inner battle, like, which one should I do, what should I do? Or, you know, when you want to choose that past person versus that new person, you or you confused, you at a crossroads saying, I don't know what I want, I don't know what I want, I don't know who, who I'm, like, you get to question yourself. 
because that old version of you, you might them old emotions might come back up. Them old, them, them that old you might them old thoughts might come back up, and it's an illusion. You get what I'm saying? Spirit trying to see if you're gonna break away from. It. Are you strong enough to break away for it from it? Are you gonna still listen to your intuition? Are you gonna still listen to your discernment? Are you gonna still listen to your inner good? Or you gonna you know take what take it take it with a grain of salt and you know. Get in your delusional era and and, and and take somebody back, okay? Because the ball is always in your court. And spirit always wants you to know that the ball is always in your court. Because I can tell you, I want, like, this is not for you, but it's up to you if you choose it. You get what I'm saying? Or you, it's up to you about what do you really want. Are you truly here? Or do you really want something new? Because when we going through it, or whether we in our down spiral, like when stuff's getting hard, that's when we really want to say, oh, I want change. I want something new. And spirit just like, are you sure about that? You get what I'm saying? So I feel like this is why you being tested, okay? So, yeah, I feel like somebody wants you. I feel like this also could have been somebody that was cheating or whatever. I feel like someone who got commitment issues, somebody who always liked to cheat and and, 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 and and don't know how to let go as well. You get what I'm saying? And I feel like this person could be tugging on your energy or tugging on your heart screens. Even if they're not in your energy, it's just like if, them, if they thinking about you, you might be feeling it, okay? And this might be question, making you question, did you make the right decision? Or it might put you down memory line. But I really feel like a lot of y'all will be beating this test. I ain't going to lie. I feel like a lot of y'all, you might be at a crossroads right now with thinking and just in your life in general. And I feel like you're not going you're not going you're not going to be studying this person. OK, because look, it's said, have you moved on yet? I thought you was regular and I want another chance with you. And I feel like a lot of y'all don't want another chance with someone else. And even if you think you do, and some of y'all do open that door back again, I feel like it's gonna it's gonna end just as quick as it starts because you're gonna realize that hell no, <laughs> I can't even want you even if I'm delusional. Some of y'all might try to close your blind your close your eyes to the bullshit, and it's just like baby, you, like you gonna be like uh uh I can't do this, and it's gonna be some Capricorn ain't gonna be for every Capricorn, so don't get triggered or want to tussle because I said that somebody want might take somebody back, okay. Yeah, because I feel like somebody having a hard time moving on. This could be somebody, baby daddy, baby mom. Just like somebody you got a good bond with. So that would make it hard. So it might be like a karmic connection that might be super strong, powerful as shit. Okay, like there's somebody who look like a soulmate. But I feel like they, they might ain't, okay? And for some of y'all, y'all may be in separation with a soulmate, okay? Because you are going through some type of challenges. I told y'all, a lot of y'all not all... Like, a lot of y'all could be in something new. You in another cycle. You're not going to, how y'all not going to be in that other cycle. You know what I'm saying? I feel like a lot of y'all could be already started talking to someone new. And I feel like somebody else know that. And I feel like this is why the test is coming around, too. So, not, I feel like there's one of y'all dilemmas in your, in your relationship is, seeing is can can you be shooken? Or you going to stand your ground? Okay? So, if you take a resume, friend, and I'm going to talk to you later, bookie. Okay, I gotta, I gotta turn all my cards around. Okay, I love you and what's up you like. Hold on, let me give y'all one more advice card. But look, y'all remember, I don't even gotta do it. Believe in yourself, okay? Okay. Happy love month. <laughs> hey, what she look like, bro? Shawty like? press, shawty press, shawty fine, shawty fine. Yeah, face card valid, she gon' slay it every time. Independent, independent, on the grind, on the grind. All about her money, so she never got time.